You're watching the Winston Joe cooking and uh, Discovery TV. Today I'm going to do some pork shoulders in the oven. So, yes, there'll be a change up in my cooking routine. So basically these were already washed, sanitized. Yes, sanitized with vinegar and uh, to cleanse them to get rid of the excessive bacteria because this is pork and uh, they are seasoned only with sea salt, black pepper and onion powder and they are going into the oven, yes, into the oven. I will cook these in the oven and then when they're near completed cooking then I will add all the dressings um, to complete the cooking process here. Yes, I'll have carrots in the finishing. I'll have Idaho potatoes and uh, yes, I'll have some vegetables such as bell peppers, scallion, and uh, possible other season to complete the process. You're watching the Winston Hill cooking and this cook TV on the YouTube platform. So I'm going to put these into my turkey pan now. Alright, so. Yes, these are pork shoulder slices. This is meat for the remainder of the whole week, possibly into a second week. Yes, this is lots of meat. Lots of meat. This everyday cooking is a, is a challenge. Yeah. Watching the Western Jail cooking and this cup of tea. Yes, these are going into the oven. Alright, it's going into the oven. The oven is on. Alright. Yes, I use this pan to cook turkey. This is actually actually made specifically to cook turkeys. Yes, American turkey. Thanksgiving turkey, but I'm not cooking Thanksgiving turkey. I am cooking Thanksgiving pork shoulders, sliced pork shoulders. It's not Thanksgiving yet. I'm just joking. Yes, but these are sliced pork shoulders. And you're watching this on the Winston Jail cooking and discover TV. So now I am gonna put in all the remaining ingredients. That's all the remaining ingredients into the turkey pan. I'm gonna put in the potatoes, the carrots, and all the various seasonings. You're watching the Winston Joe cooking and Discovery TV. Okay, here are all my remaining ingredients that will be going inside of the, the sliced pork shoulder. These are the potato wedge. Yes, these are Idaho, special Idaho potatoes. These are not Irish, these are Idaho. These are very solid, very firm and smooth on the outside, and they're very big. So these are going in to the turkey vessel. These are my carrots. 
and um, garlic and this is my onions and green scallion and uh, sweet pepper of course then I have onion powder garlic powder as well and some meatloaf seasoning will be going in and some tomato ketchup will be going in and as far as the stock the liquid it will be the flavored beef cooking stock that will be going inside and uh, have sea salt of course and black pepper these are all the ingredients that I will be using into the completion of this um, sliced pork shoulder dish here today that you're seeing on the Winston Jail cooking and the Discovery TV on the YouTube platform. So without further ado, let me get back to the stove and start adding these various ingredients. Alright, so I'm going to add my fresh garlic. Actually, let me just cook so I can add all of these in it and add the liquid, and then that will be the final. Once it start boiling, that's when I'll do it like that. So I'll leave the carrots for last because I don't like the carrots when they're overcooked. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my potato wedges. I'm going to add some 
black pepper. Gel cooking and discovery TV. So these are the remaining ingredients that I have to go in. My carrots and a scallion and bell peppers. Gel cooking and discovery TV on the YouTube platform. Yes, these are sliced pork shoulders. Yes, sliced pork shoulders. Alright, I'm gonna add the remaining seasoning dressings that I have to conclude this process. So I'm going to add my bell peppers. Let's go. 
watching the Winston Jail cooking and the Scotty TV on the YouTube left. Alright, I'm gonna put this little piece of butter, half stick of butter in it, because it's pork. So the butter is okay to go into pork. But beef, when you're cooking beef, you really don't use butter because um, the milk comes from the cow and you eat the beef and you cook with butter, you can curdle in your stomach. That's what I was told long ago, I don't know how true that is. I've never looked in my stomach and see if the butter curdled after eating beef. All right, I'm putting some pork gravy to thicken up the gravy a little bit. Not much in there, just a little bit, so I'm just going to finish it up. Yes. Alright, you're watching Winston Jail cooking and Discovery TV. Watching the Winston Jail cooking and Discovery TV. This is my sliced pork shoulders. Yes, sliced pork shoulders. So it is coming down to the wire to the finish finish line. So I'm going to put it back in the oven and let it finish in the oven from the top of the stove. All right. Put it in this oven. All right. Okay, I think the, the pork shoulder is done. It's finished. Alright, so I'm going to close down the stove and uh, start sharing out my dinner. I want a big plate of this. For the meat of an emperor. You're watching the Winston Jail Cooking and Discovery TV on the YouTube platform. Yes, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting, thank you for liking. Yes, please continue to support me, please continue to build me up. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we support each other. All right, this is the finished product of this cooking adventure. My sliced pork shoulder. The juice in the camera is getting low. I hope I'll be able to upload. You're watching the Winston Show. Cooking and Discovery TV. Alright, so this is this is the dish that I've created here today. Sliced pork shoulder with pigeon peas rice, potato wedges, and carrots and tomato. Thank you for watching. Please like. Thank you. See you in another cooking adventure. Thank you for watching the Winston Jail Cooking and Discovery TV. Alright, this is part three, the final journey.